Intensity, weekend one, day three of Athletes Unlimited, season three. They're getting into it here. We had Dallas Wings Day yesterday. And as we hit the fourth quarter of our final game of the weekend, Team Sims with a four-point lead, 76-72. They won the third quarter convincingly Cheryl swoops they brought it defensively Kalani Brown is eating in the paint and Odyssey Sims has 13 and 13 assists I mean team Sims just decided that quarter they were going to find a way to get back in the ball game and Odyssey Sims was the leader of that to your point Kalani Brown is eating in the paint defensively she's getting it done this fourth quarter we are in for a treat. Just to give you folks at home an understanding, too, with the leaderboard. Bell off the mark from three. Cloud rips away with the rebound. Odyssey Sims climbed from fourth to second on the leaderboard. Just by one quarter. Angler has range. Come on, double eight. Emily Angler, fifth on the leaderboard entering the quarter. That's 30 points. Taya Cooper. What? Beautitious. I like that word. Gray. <laughs> Alicia's been close the last two. Has a smile for Cooper hustling back on defense. Let's see what Odyssey has in her bag of trips. Tricks kicks it out. Bell sticks it. Kirsten Bell, the offense in this first minute. We're in for a great fourth quarter. Well, you know, when Odyssey Sim starts penetrating, she gets by one. Team Gray is there to help. All you got to do is spot up, and she's going to find you. Alicia Gray spins, fires, offensive foul. She was livid with the call, but have to get back here. Team Gray, at one point in this game, Led by 11 points. That was in the early part of the third. Now they trail by six with 8.40 left. This has been our closest game since opening night. Yeah, they, they are competing. Both teams 2-0. You know nobody wants to take that L. We are going to go down to the wire. 60 points awarded to each player for a quarter win for their team. 180 points to each player on the winning team. All four quarters. What they always play for. The wins. Natasha Cloud tripped up in maybe that moment while it wasn't a basket, wasn't a statistical edge, maybe uses that to fuel her teammates. Well, you heard when she drew that foul, she just got up screaming like, let's go. There's another gear to this group, especially number nine. Yeah, Tosh is a competitor. And when she looks up at the clock and the score is not in their favor, you know she's going to come out and play. Tiffany Mitchell is fouled and heads to the line. Mitchell only scored two points in the third, scored 15 in the first half. Both teams, 2 and 0, oh, and have figured out how to close out games. Mitchell cuts the deficit to four. And now has 19 points. Gray leads the way with 27. Natasha Cloud with 10 and seven assists. Four players in double figures. Four team Sims. Shot fake Brown, fall away two off the mark. Odyssey Sims races in. They're going to say Team Sims ball. I don't think either team realized that. Team Gray just assumed it was their ball. Which leads to just very 
<laughs> candid discussion. <laughs> I think everybody's like, what are we doing? Okay, so they, I think they got that right. They, the possession goes to Team Gray. So Angel Picatri, who had a heck of a first quarter, five for five, 10 points, or second quarter, didn't play the third quarter, but she's in the game now. Maybe she's the closer. Kirsten Bell, shot fake, swing it. Sims backs out, two player game, Bell fires. Angel McCautry, offensive board. Angsler got a hand in there. <laughs> and she's got a possible case, just got her hand in and called for a foul. It's just the third on Angsler tonight. She, she didn't think she fouled. Let's see, nice little step back. She was just saying hi. That's what it was. But you know, anytime you reach in and you slap down, the refs are probably gonna call it. And correction, just the second foul on Engsler fouled out in their game yesterday against Team Mitchell. Angel McCautry, there she goes into the top 10. Oh, school said, y'all are not gonna leave me out of the top 10. This is interesting. First year at AU, mostly overseas after her W career, 37 years old. And look, as we've discussed, a quarter win, the game win, you never know. It's gonna be very, very, very interesting. And when you look at the top 10, it's all Team Gray, Team Sims, and Maddie Segris from Team Mitchell. You have been gloating about Maddie and her play. Tiffany Mitchell, strong to the cup. Another 20-point outing for Tiffany Mitchell, 21 points. Had 28 yesterday. Seven minutes to play in regulation. Tangling in the lane, Sims is tripped up. And turns it over. These turnovers are starting to add up for Odyssey, and easy for me to say here, you gotta be careful, <laughs> but you wanna win the game, right? And be oh, aggressive. Absolutely. Gray is starting to separate from Sims, plus 300. But the game result plays a big part. A steal, Sims. McCautry is fouled, but give her 10 for the old board. Angel McCautry knows it's closing time. Yep, the closer. On the defensive end, Angel gets her hand in there. She's able to come up with that, or to at least tip it, so Odyssey Sims comes up with the loose ball. Technical foul on Team Gray. It is on Alicia Gray. Lexi Brown to the line to shoot the technical free throw. Drills it. The team captain having a lengthy talk with some of the officials. Angel McCautry shooting two. <laughs> Angel so effective on Saturday. Nine points, four boards, couple of steals, couple of blocks in just 14 minutes. What, what is making you laugh, Cheryl? <laughs> well, Alicia Gray standing in front of us talking to the ref, like, what did I do for the tech? And the ref said something about her, like, just forcefully taking her glasses off. And Alicia says, I mean, I just took my glasses off. I might need to see. <laughs> if she didn't have glasses, then she wouldn't have done anything like that. That's just the truth. She's got glasses. That's an interesting exchange. Well, I don't know if you know, but when you're playing with glasses, oh, you're sweating and they I get can... foggy and, you know, so when there's a free throw, most of the time, you take them off so you can see. <laughs> she was like, I, I don't know why I got the tag. Cloud connects on both. 
85-81, six and a half to play. The fourth quarter is tied, 9-9. Two quarter wins in the first half for Team Gray. Team Sims with a defensive display in the third, holding Team Sims, or rather holding Team Gray to 20 points. Mitchell on the drive, spins, fires short. Back comes Team Sims. Power dribble, switch to the right, hanging in the air. Odyssey Sims going to the line. The creativity she has to maneuver her body, Cheryl. First half, 10 assists. New AU record, only four assists in the second half, but hunting for her shot now. Well, yeah, and so the other day we were talking and I said, I absolutely hate, I hate it defending lefties. And Odyssey Sims is a prime example why that is. First of all, guarding lefties is so tough. Like, that last possession, Odyssey Sims gets the ball. She starts going right. Tiffany Mitchell jumps to the right hand, but because she's a lefty, she brings it back to her left hand and is able to draw the foul. Natasha Cloud had a pretty good look, but air balls the three. Want to monitor the foul trouble, too, especially for Team Gray. Team captain, Ali Gray, five personal fouls. Odyssey Sims and one. Of course, we have to keep an eye because Alicia is at the top of the leaderboard. And there are points to be had if something goes wrong and picks up her sixth. Yeah, fourth quarter is Odyssey Sims time. Lefty just attacking, nice little in and out, able to draw the foul on Emily Inksler. Not, not a lot of contact, but it was a foul. She's got that muscle. Timeout taken by Team Sims. An eight point lead for Team Sims, their largest of the day. Odyssey Sims wants to keep repping that gold jersey. We'll come right back to Dallas. Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball is fueled by Gatorade. Season three of Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball weekend number one is coming to an end. Odyssey Sims has been a captain eight times in her AU career. She has worn the gold jersey in each of the last five weeks dating back to last season. If you finish one on the leaderboard, you wear the gold going into next week and Odyssey is creeping to the top and she's trying to finish this game, Cheryl Swoops, with an eight point lead. Yeah, o Odyssey enjoys wearing gold. So she is trying to do everything she can to finish in that number one spot. She's about 200 points behind Alicia Gray on the leaderboard right now. But again, what is a big factor, the quarter win, which is 60 points, and then 180 as McCautry was trying to help Gray back to her feet. That could have been very scary a moment ago, but the block is what initiated a lot of this. Yeah, Angel McCautry just in help side. Alicia Gray, uh, Alicia Gray thinks she's gotten away from Taya Cooper, but Angel McCautry just coming from behind, getting a nice block. Both teams are over the limit. It's been a physical game. So you come up with a halfway point of the fourth. But like I was saying a second ago, these, the quarter points and then that 180 you can just tack on at the end of the winning team, that's going to change a lot of things and fluctuate players. Yeah, and so the other day we were talking about looking at time and score and do you continue to be aggressive or what do you do? So this game is a little different. If I'm Team Sims and I have a seven point lead right now with five minutes to go, I'm gonna try and run some time off the clock. Yeah. Because ultimately I am trying to walk out here with the win so I can get 180 win points. Hell, that's good offense. And you'll take that look every time. All day long. I'm glad you said that, Cheryl. Now I've got a keen eye on Sims running the point. 
Gray, deep three, well short. Engsler getting in the dirty area there to try and muster a loose ball. They've got a foul on Team Sims. Not a jump ball. We're going to keep it right here midway through the fourth. 92-83. Team Sims with its largest lead of the night. And it looks like we're going to have ourselves a challenge. Team Sims is going to challenge the ruling on the floor, which was a foul on Angel McCautry. I, I, I didn't see the foul. I thought yeah. it was a jump ball. We'll get a look at it and assess. I, I don't know. I can't see anything from that angle. Should be a good look. No. <laughs> it, it honestly looked like Inksler was holding McCautry's hand. I would like to add that the every single department at Athletes Unlimited has been absolutely outstanding. If the video department is listening, that might make for a good meme. By Angel McCautry. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I do. I like that. Because oh. we know here at AU, we're different and we can do pretty much anything we want to. I, I have no idea. That looked like a, like, just play on. All right. Well, this is big because, again, both teams are over the limit. So if that is indeed a foul and the call stands, that means free throws. And, and, here, and here's the other thing, right? You're talking about players moving up the leaderboard. Angel McCautry was sitting in, in 10th place, right? So if it's a foul on her, then that's going to take eight points away from her. I don't even know what the foul was. Unsuccessful challenge. The officials rule that Angel McCautry had a grip <laughs> of Emily Engsler's arm. she held her arm. I... Right there? They look like they were just holding hands to me, saying, it's nice to meet you. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Odyssey Sims. You know, I wonder, we should just give her a calculator, and she can keep her leaderboard score out on the court with her. I think she knows she's doing pretty well. Well, to have so much joy on her face, despite her teammate Angel being upset with the foul. And again, collectively, up by eight points. Yeah, but you, you, you still, you have a seven, excuse me, if you're Team Sims, you have a seven point lead. Work the clock, make sure you, you get a good shot. They are winning the quarter, 16-13. Brown did not see the post entry. They did exactly what you told them not to do. Well, I, I, I get where you're trying to go because Kalani Brown has been so good in the paint, but the, the angle for that pass and Kalani wasn't really looking at Taya Cooper on that. I would have reversed the ball back to Odyssey and let Odyssey throw the pass over top. And luckily for Team Sim, Cheryl, Team Gray has missed their last five shots. Bell, once again, Cuts behind the screen, great offense. Sims to Bell, that's assist number 15 for Odyssey Sims. Bogak swish. Come on, big girl. Big shot. That's a big shot for Team Gray. Third three for the 6-2 center. 31 years old, Adut Bogak. Third three of the week, that is. 
And this is the lineup that Team Gray had in when they made the run in the first quarter. Taya Cooper just doing what she does, getting to the basket. Fifth member Ooh. of Team Sims in double figures. Bulgak again, no. same spot. No, no. Bulgak bullseye. 96-91. Cooper puts the head down. Rebound Bulgak. She might be working herself into the top 10. Cloud, pass was deflected. Right idea. And while things were eerie for Team Sims, they're right back in this thing, Cheryl. Yeah, Odyssey, again, when she has the ball in her hands, just cut and move, because she will find you finding Bell for an easy two. And I do just stepping out, showing she has range too. Not just one three, but two. Tiffany Mitchell in traffic. It's an 8 0 run for Team Gray. Down by three. McCautry could not finish the bunny. The squad in orange stepped out of bounds. Mm, tough call. The Angel just rushed that one. Eight of the last ten points belong to Team Gray. 96-93, closing time as Cheryl called for. Sims wants this team to take its time and manage this possession properly. Sims with the big Exler guarding. Sims tries to split two, and a foul is called on Emily Exler. Doesn't help Engsler's case because, as Cheryl has pointed out, you lose points for fouls committed. Bolgak has been stepping up. She is rising. And here comes Odyssey, right now in second place. You actually do get four points for drawing a shooting foul, which that's also an art in AU. It is. Sims now 10 of 13 at the line. Two possession lead, and that gives Team Sims the lead in the quarter by one. The country, the defense. Here comes the W vet. Oh, that's Feed nice. from Sims, oh. but missed the layup. That would have put him up three possessions. Instead, Cloud burst the other way. Tiffany Mitchell glides to the basket. Ooh, that was a nice pass. Break by what, team a, Sims. what a turn of events. Four point swing in a one possession game. Deflection, Exler. Cloud lobs it ahead. Behind the back pass to Gray. <laughs> Come on, Double E. I see the behind the back pass. Quick take to the rim, Cooper. Engsler the stuff. It was last touched by McCautry. This was smooth. Emily Engsler. Great steal, push it in transition. Tosh finding Engsler, who says, run with me, Gray. I see you. Nice little behind the back. That was sweet. A chance for Team Gray to get their first lead since midway through the third. Natasha Cloud does just that. That's tough, Tosh. She was determined on that one. And with Kalani, she just decided she was going to put it on the floor and get all the way to the hole and draw the foul. That's tough. Natasha Cloud in double figures, scoring in 27 of her 33 career AU games. 15 points, 11 assists, 7-0. Team Gray run. They lead by two as we come up on a minute to go. In week one 
of season three, Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball. Lexi Brown with seven. Brown attacks, Cloud got a hand in there. It stays with Team Sims. Four seconds to shoot. Looking at your leaderboard, top four, Gray one, Sims two, the game in the balance. And the next two leaders in the orange jerseys, Natasha Cloud and Tiffany Mitchell. Bell, catch, almost had an and one. Two at the line to possibly <laughs> tie the game. This is exactly what we expected, right? For these two teams. I don't, I don't want to call it, but it wouldn't surprise me if we have a little OT today. Kirsten Bell, first trip to the line tonight. Two of three in two games prior to this one. One point game. Kirsten Bell with 15 points. Timeout, Team Gray, 199. <laughs> so Bell, give her 10, has climbed into that discussion for a captain nod. Emily Engsler also in that conversation and the players we kind of expected to be there from the end of last night, Gray Sims, Cloud, and Mitchell. All right, what's the strategy here now? This is, we got a, we got a long way to go still here, 54.7 seconds. Yeah, I mean, it's a one point game, right? So if I'm, if I'm team Gray right now, I'm gonna move the basketball, right? I'm not going to rush it. You have a one point lead. Make sure you get a good look at the basket, right? Not a turnover, get a good look at the basket. If I'm team Sims, you gotta get out, you gotta pressure. Honestly, it would, I might pick up full court. They did that in the first half. They threw a little 2-2-1 mm -hmm. at Team Gray. They weren't prepared for it. They were able to get a turnover. But Team Sims, they have to get a stop right here. And both teams, for the most part, have shot well at the free throw line, both over the limit. Team Gray, 20 of 23. And we talked about this early in the game, right? When Team Sims made their run in the third, you had said, Team Gray had gone away from what had worked yes. for them so far this week. Tiffany Mitchell had a great first half. Alicia Gray only has one made field goal. Natasha Cloud has been the hot hand, I would argue, in this fourth quarter. Absolutely, Natasha Cloud has been that hot hand. But what Team Gray has done so well the entire week was play team basketball, move the basketball, share the basketball. And when they do that, they're really good and pretty tough to defend. When they go away from that, it allows other, te other teams like Team Sims to guard them easier. And Cloud demonstrates that herself with 11 assists. Mitchell with the rock, 50 seconds to play. Team Sims, 25 steals in the first two games. Let's see if they can get another stop. Cloud with 10 to shoot. Sims guarding. Cloud kicks it. Engsler a three. Emily Engsler! Come on, E. Big oh, that's time. big. That's big. The fifth player in double figures. Sims can't answer. Offensive rebound. Brown had it scraped away. 20 seconds. That's 30 points for Engsler. And that puts her in fifth on the leaderboard behind <laughs> Tiffany Mitchell. It is tight. Emily Inksler, I see you going to work, big girl. Tosh Cloud just aggressive with the ball, finding Inksler spotted up behind the three-point line. She knows what time it is. Ooh, that's big time. That's big time. All Sign time. her up. For the captain spot, we could very well be the case. There's your updated leaderboard. All five starters for Team Gray in double digits. 14 seconds. Team Gray in position to also win three of the four quarters individually. Foul committed across the way from us. They're gonna get Mitchell, her third. <laughs> Tiffany Mitchell's like, oops, sorry. 
Taylor Cooper at the line for Team Sims. Shooting two. Two very different quarters for each of these teams offensively in the second half. Team Sims pulverizing defense, outscored Team Gray 33 to 20, and then in the fourth, the two teams switched places. Team Gray leading the frame 33-24. That was just a two point, two, uh, two free throw situation. Foul was on the floor by Mitchell. Not a shooting foul from three, 8.5. So we're not, not looking at where we are with the captains. Odyssey Sims would probably have to win. MVP one. Yeah, MVP one to remain captain. Otherwise, they are all coming from Team Gray. Which again, hypothetically speaking, if that does play out, which it's also very likely, that would cause a breakup to the Orange Squad as yeah. Teresa Plaisance <laughs> chatted with us earlier. So Team Gray will probably be upset, but Teresa plays out said, as a competitor, we need to break up this happy home. <laughs> Engsler has delivered 14th pick overall by Alicia Gray and company. Also, got to shout out Breon January, the team facilitator, also a point guard in her day. Three seconds for Sims. Speeds ahead, adds two more to her resume. And that is how it wraps. Week one of season three has finished. Odyssey Sims with 22 points. Now we've got to factor in the quarter wins as well as the win points. So that's all coming into play. And of course, the one thing we still don't know is the MVP points, the MVP one, you get 90 points for that. MVP two, 60 points, and then MVP three. 30 points. Cheryl Swoops, what a weekend. It was a blast working with you here in the booth. Yeah, listen, this game was everything we thought it would be. Great week. Opening week for Athletes Unlimited. Come back next week. I'm super excited, and I want to see who's going to finish in that fourth spot as a captain, Sims or Inksler. Great stuff from Cheryl Swoops, and we will see you again real soon as the AU season continues. The draft is on Monday for week two, one Eastern on the Athletes Unlimited 